Okay, good morning. Today we are looking at um, another section in our topic on solving equations. Today we are going to be talking about how to solve two step errors, two step equations. So uh, the instructions or the goal is exactly the same as it was before. Our goal is to find out what the variable is. So here the word solve comes up and your instruction is to solve an equation like this, what we're uh, trying to do is find out what variable would satisfy this equation. So in other words, for this first example, what could n be? So um, let's just review these ideas. So off to the side, we're going to review. Number one, solve means to isolate the variable. I have Mrs. Newman here helping teach today. She says, I go solve means, and she goes, solve. <laughs> solve means to isolate the variable and find its identity. So we're going to do our best to find out what uh, the variable is. Um, the way we're going to do that is by keeping the left hand side and right hand side balanced or we could say equal. So you remember that from the videos in the past. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to use the reverse order of operations. Or in other words, we're going to use use inverse operations to separate the variable from all the other numbers that are that are in here. So let's get started. Since this is a two-step equation, it probably makes sense that there's going to be two steps worth of work. And uh, we're going to always start with the addition or subtraction parts first. So we're going to add or subtract. If there is addition or subtraction, there will be, usually. So here there is subtract 7. So the opposite of that would be to add 7. And we need to do it to both sides. I'm going to show every single step. If we do it to uh, both sides and we add 7, that means that we'll maintain balance. The left-hand side will be equal to the right-hand side. And we get closer to this part of it becomes zero. That's why we added seven to start separating all the other values from our 2n. And 2n would be equal to, I think that's 26. So remember, mushed means multiplying. Your second move is usually going to be a multiply or divide step, some kind of operation. This one is multiply, so we apply the, the opposite, which is divide. And since it's attached, since the n is attached to a 2, we'll divide both sides by 2. And n is equal to 13. So remember, your answer is not correct. If you just put 13, you have to state what the identity of the variable is. Okay? So what do you think the variable is? <coughs> Excuse me. The voice is still a little bit croaky this morning. And we could substitute this in here. We could uh, verify it. We'll do that quickly using mental math. So if we think n is 2, 2 times 13, that would give us 26. Subtract 7, does that equal 19? Yes, it does. So we won't write the variable, uh, the verification step out. But if we were going to, that's what we would have to do. All right, on to the next one. <clears throat> Here we have n divided by 3. So remember, whenever you see a variable written and it looks like a fraction, you need to think of that as being a division step. Uh, the variables are attached by um, addition here. So our first step is going to be to subtract 5 from both sides. Both sides. Make sure you do that from the left hand and the right hand side. I'm going to show that step. So n divided by 3 plus 5 minus 5, and 11 minus 5 will help to maintain balance. This will become 0, which is why we did that. And n divided by 3 
equals six. So this is divided by three. So our second step is multiply by three. So if we take both sides and multiply by three, n is equal to 18. n is equal to 18. We could substitute into the original equation. You would see that that works out. By taking 18 divided by 3 is 6 plus 5. Does that equal 11? Yes, it does. So it's verified. Okay, on to the last example for today. And then I'm going to cut you, um, cut you loose on your assignment for today. So we're going to add 5 to both sides. <clears throat> because this is subtracting 5. 11b is equal to 33. This is a multiplication step, so the opposite would be to divide both sides by 11. And p is equal to 3. 33 divided by 11 is, is 3. So there you go. I hope you're happy with it. Um, if you did not practice and finish the single step equations yet, then I hope that you uh, get a chance to do that. Make sure you watch last week's videos on single steppers, otherwise you will be lost with the double steppers. So have a good day today, have a good week. More assignments will be on their way.